Last week I talked about building up your portfolio and about a portfolio item I made, but how do I do that? So in this video, 10 steps how I edit a B-roll sequence video as fast as possible. Let's go. With a simple B-roll sequence, I mean a video without a really good story, but just a nice looking video with some cool B-roll, some cool music. So it looks appealing, but just that, just appealing. 10 steps, step one, sort your footage. The way I sort my footage is really simple. I shot with my iPhone, with the GH5 and a drone. Um, so I will make different folders for different cameras. So this is iPhone and the rest of the footage is you can go crazy and sort it by time or location or things like that but I will keep it quite simple and quick step number two cut every clip and keep it chronological so I imported my footage I made a sequence and what I will do now is opening the main folder of the main camera I shot the footage with and then go by every clip and cut it in the source monitor so now I will go by every clip in the source monitor and if I think okay this is a nice shot which this isn't but this one I like then I already mark it in and mark it out and I will drag the clip on my timeline if I think it's too shaky or I already want to, to have it in slow motion I will do that here too so duration speed 50 and then it's already in slow motion so it's good to go and I will do that with every clip which is a lot of work so um, make sure you do it fast um, because it's a raw edit and not final step number three now change the order of the clips so most of the time you can keep it chronological if you did a right job filming your footage but otherwise you can switch some clips just a simple example over here i have a shot uh, of the feet of a man and over here i have a shot of a man grabbing a drink so if you think those are two shots that can go together you can just change the order so you can take this shot first and then you can grab the other shot of the feet so you grab that shot and put it right next to the other one so now we have two shots together so in this way you can build the order of your shots for example keep in mind the movement if you have two shots moving forward um, Put them together step four grab music maybe you already have music in your mind or uh, you already chose some music if not this is the moment to search for a nice music to put under your b-roll sequence keep in mind that it has to be copyright free keep in mind that you can get lost in this and you can search music for hours don't do that time is money and if this is free work you don't earn money with it so be quick for picking music, I have three recommendations. The first one is the YouTube audio library. Um, there are a lot of songs in there. And if you do a good search, you can find some really great ones. Keep in mind that you can only use this for YouTube. Uh, another recommendation I have is SoundCloud. If you found a good song on SoundCloud, you can message the artist and maybe you can use it in your video or portfolio item. Another tip is if you searched for music, you can go to tracks and you can filter it on commercial use. And most of the songs over here you can use commercially because it's tagged as you can use it commercially. And the last one, it's a famous one because it's a sponsor of a lot of YouTubers. It's Epidemic Sounds. Um, I use it myself, but it's paid. So this is a paid option I really like. I think it's worth it, but you have to decide it for yourself. And most of the times in step five, I started thinking what kind of video I want to create. And with that, I mean, uh, is it going to be a quick, fast uh, speed ramp video? Or is it going to be a chill, slow motion, nice cinematic shots video and it's possible that you started this process with one id but then you found music that gives you another vibe and then it completely changed the whole thing so after i searched for music i downloaded a couple of songs and with those songs in mind i can think about the video i want to create really smooth kind of country song 
This is also more like a love song. This is kind of in between, I really liked it. But it was kind of cheesy. I wanted to create a portfolio item, but I also wanted to create uh, something to put on Instagram. So I wanted it to be quick, like a one minute quick edit. So that's why I chose this last one, because it has a lot of um, beats to, to edit music on. So now I know what kind of music I want to use and I know what kind of video I want to make and that's a quick edit. Step six is make the beginning and you probably think, yeah, of course, no shit Sherlock, but it's really important to really start with the beginning because of the music. Will you using text in the beginning? Will you using a slow incoming B-roll at the beginning? Will you use a voiceover at the beginning? You first have to think about that and kind of make it already because otherwise the music is not correct under the other b-rolls the beginning um, I already chose some shots I want to have at the beginning um, but that's not the only thing I want to do in the beginning because I was thinking about maybe having some text at the beginning or a voiceover so after all I chose to have text in the beginning and that means that I have to keep a couple of seconds uh, free for the text so the beginning is now way too long. That means I can also edit the music. So I can cut the music and then stick them together again. And that will probably work. Step number seven is then cut the B-rolls under the music. And now it's important to play with speed, uh, slow motion, uh, speed ramps, so speed and slow motion to give it a nice vibe. Now I have the beginning and now I want to, uh, to place the other B-rolls onto the music and I will do that by uh, putting markers on the music on the beat of the music so I know okay there I can switch from the one shot to another tick 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 so I will put the other b-rolls now uh, on top of those markers so now I do have something so now I have the basic b-roll edit but this is step number seven it's the most important part because now you have to really make the video Think about slow motion, think about speeding up your footage. So think about speed ramps, that's slow motion and speeding up the footage. Maybe you can do a really quick B-roll part. So like seven B-rolls in a couple of seconds. This is the creative part and I know you can do it. Keep practicing, you get faster and, and better in it. So good luck. Step number eight is add crazy effects. So the most of your video is done now, but maybe you want to do some nice transitions. Maybe you want to do some nice color sky replacement things. So after you did that, um, you have probably something crazy looking like this. At least that's what I have. I also made the beginning with the text. Uh, I did some speed ramps. I did a nice timing with the B-rolls. So now we're gonna add crazy effects. So I have like a shot that goes down here and then I have like a normal stable shot. Um, so that's a moment I can do like a really smooth slide transition. And then it will look something like this. That's better. So this is the moment you can add things like that. Number nine, add sound effects. So you have your music, maybe you have some audio of the clips you shot, but mostly you have to use sound effects to create a extra depth in um, the listening part of your video. So just add some. You can add a little swoosh uh, with a transition. You can add some footsteps if you see someone walking. I did not do a lot of sound effects, but I did like two or three overall sound effects that is to see um, and that's the wind because it's a really windy place on the water so if you only play the sound effects you will hear this and then step number 10 and that's the last step in this process for me is do color grading 
So color grading, I always color grade with a adjustment layer. So um, I will not put the, the effects uh, directly onto the clips, but I will do an adjustment layer. Um, I used a LUT and I used the uh, teal and orange LUT on this clip. I don't use the teal and orange effect uh, a lot, but uh, if I do, it's in a situation like this when it's on the water and it's also really blue blue water blue sky so that's the last thing i did on this video uh, and now it's time to render if you want to see the result of this video um, you can check that out in the last video i made last week for my laptop color grading is a kind of hard process so that's why it's the last step of these 10 steps so i do the color grading and then of course you Step 11, rendering, of course, but yeah, so these were 11 steps. But of course you have to render the video and then you're done. Nice. I hope you were inspired to hear my workflow of making these B-roll videos as fast as possible. This is Shoot That Video channel, it's all about filmmaking. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to learn more about filmmaking. Thank you and I hope to see you next week. Uh, bye!